Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Instigators. Um, I'm disappointed. It's only 6.2 on IMDb. 7,446 people rated so far. It's a Apple TV movie uh, and it follows two robbers who must go on the run with the help of one of their therapists after a theft doesn't go as planned, right? Uh, and that's not the good part. The good part is Matt Damon and Casey Affleck are in this. Um, Jack Harlow is also in it. But, I don't know, I, I, oh, oh, Ron Perlman is in it, Toby Jones, Rob Gronkowski is in it. Anyway, seems like those two teaming up would be a pretty good movie. But unfortunately right now it's a 6.2, so, I don't know. Let's see if I enjoy it, or if it's, it's underwhelming for me as well. Stick around, I'll let you know. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of The Instigators, and first of all, I'll say don't be fooled by the timeline. It is really an hour and 30 minutes long. Um, I thought it was longer, and uh, I actually had to pause it the night before to come back to it, um, which I I'm going to stop doing, um, but I don't know why people don't like it. Um, I, I don't know if they expected more. I liked, I, I, you know, I think these guys are... Jack Carlo. Oh, now I know who Jack Carlo was. Forgot Jack Carlo was in it, and I know which character he was now. Anyway, um, but I liked it. I thought it was funny. It was fun. Um, you know, it's it's you know it's been done many times, right? It's, it's very similar to any other robbery heist movie comedy um, that we see now. There's a post-credit scene, so yikes! Uh, I'm gonna miss this. But for me. You know, I think they work great together, right? I, ben and Matt work well together. Casey works well together with them as well. Um, so I, I like the rapport that they have. So um, I enjoy that. It's it's funny because um, Matt Damon plays like a character who doesn't really have a sense of humor. And Casey is like a character who is just, you know, spewing with jokes and doesn't take anything seriously. And you know, lives life by the moment, whereas Matt, Matt Affleck, I almost call him Matt Damon's character, is more divorcee, trying to get his kid back, not get him back, but get the relationships back, you know, more, more emotionally, um, you know, evolved in himself, I guess, as opposed to Casey, he's just like, whatever, man, let's just, and, uh, and I think that works well together in this film. Um, the guy from Your Honor, uh, I don't even know his name. I'm not even gonna look it up. But the the kingpin from Your Honor, the guy who heads up the the, the mob there in, in New Orleans or whatever. I don't want to say the family, whatever. He's in this too. Um, so I think they got a lot of Ving Rhames is in it. And I, I said all this before, but a lot of good people in this movie to make it even better. And uh, you know the the hostage thing that we talked about. It's not you know it's not the whole movie. It's just a piece of it. I think IMDb leads you down a different path. Really, it's it's about it's really about Matt Damon's character um, trying to get his family back together and what he goes through to make this happen. And uh, I just think it's a lot of fun. I I think it's definitely worth a watch. Apple TV or Apple TV Plus or whatever it's called. Um, you know, it's great that we get these kinds of movies at home. Oh, you know, and don't have to go to the movies to watch them. So um, I definitely like it for that aspect of it as well. I think there's a lot of good humor. Worth a watch, in my opinion. There you go. Don't break it up into two, two different movies. I did this again, and I was uh, completely wrong each time. So I'm never doing that again. Um, hopefully this was helpful. But check it out. It's definitely worth a watch. Kimmel's Irish Pub.